Okay, good afternoon. So today we're going to set up a new job in Qubit. So when you launch Qubit, you arrive at this landing screen, the Qubit Job Manager. And we start off by setting up a new project, and then we put a new job into that project. So an example of a project could be the name of the construction project, and possibly the new job then may be uh, the element or the trade package that you're going to measure on that project. So we start by clicking new project. We give it a title and in this case I'm going to call it uh, Kildare Street. Kildare Street and click OK and then within that project we need to start a new job. So the important thing there is to ensure that you, there we go, the important thing there is to ensure that it's highlighted in green. So you can see there where Kildare Street is highlighted in green and then within that I need to click new job. So once that's highlighted green I can go up there and click new job and I'm going to call this one uh, plastering and dry lining. Okay, so I click on that and it takes a couple of seconds for uh, Cuba to load once you double click it. So I've got my plastering and dry lining down there. Again, that's highlighted green. You'll hear me referring to this highlighting. Uh, it's important when you're working in projects that we highlight the particular rows that we're working in. So you just get this little buffer signal. Uh, Cubic can be a bit finicky when you go to start it, so uh, just be patient. Sometimes if you double click on it, you need to shut the whole thing down and start again. So we're just getting set up here now and we can see the image that we have and there this is our our landing page if you like there's nothing in it yet we will set up by inserting a drawing it's the first thing that we'll do so we click into plans we click on insert and this will automatically read your local pc in this case i'm ready to go here new building partitions i'm going to start with basement plan click into that and what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to scale the dimension and check the stated the stated dimension that's on the drawing so sometimes you'll have a dimension that's stated and I'll need to double check that when you insert a drawing you'll always get an option to insert it as a vector or a raster if you have uh, .dwg drawings, so AutoCAD style drawings, Revit drawings, you can import as a raster. Generally speaking for PDFs, it works better as a vector, which is the default. So you can leave that alone. If, you've, if there's more than one layer in your drawing, if there's several pages, you can select them individually or you can select one at a time. You can select to import, select all. In this case, there's just the one drawing and I'm going to click on import. I mentioned before with Qubit, they use the term plans to refer to all drawings, regardless of whether they are plans, sections or elevations. We traditionally know the term plan to make reference to what you can see as the room is set out, the floor level plan or the reflected ceiling plan but Qubit uses that term to cover all drawings so you can see it just takes a little bit of time patience is a virtue when you're starting off with Qubit it's just loading there make sure that you have the most up-to-date settings if you haven't already done so support at Qubit.com is the email address so the first thing that we do with any plan is we scale it and there's a 
We can draw a scale if we can get a dimension. We can use a preset or we can manually override the scale. The default setting is one to one. Most of these plans are at a scale one is to 100. We can zoom in there and check it, but we'll always verify. So if I zoom in here, as I say, my preference is to use stated dimensions. Sometimes the architects can make a mistake. It says their scale of 1 is to 100. What I'd like to see is if there's any stated dimensions on it so that I can test that. If you can't find a known stated dimension, you can choose something like a, a car park space. Most of these car parking spaces are 2.5 by 5 meters, sometimes 2.4 by 4.8. So I can use that as a as a state of what I'll do is I'll I'll use the number that's in the drawn block, one is to 100. I'll scale that, and the very first thing I'll do is I'll test it. So by testing it, I'm just going to click into the cell underneath the description up here and I'm going to write the word test. You can write any description that you like in there. Notice that when you press enter it automatically goes down to the next row and the next row is highlighted. If I'm to measure I need to be in the row that I'm measuring so I need to click back into that row and then I just need to widen this column here. This column with the three dots just to the right of description has my result column. That's where all of my units are. And notice again, as soon as I interact with something else on the screen, the highlight goes off test. So if I'm trying to measure now, I won't be able to measure. So I need to ensure that that's highlighted green. If I click in this cell just below result, I get a drop down menu. And I have a choice there, area, length, etc, etc. For now, I just want to test the length, because that would give me a test and I'm going to scale a known dimension. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to choose uh, the width of that car parking space and it should be somewhere between as I say somewhere between 2.2 and 2.5. So let's have a look. So I'm on length. I then go up here to home and I'm looking for either polyline or line polyline is set up as a default so I'll take that and I'm just going to what you see me doing here is I'm moving this around there's several little options up here but if you have the mouse with the little button on it if you hold the button down you can pan the drawing if you scroll in and out you can zoom in and then to select I just have to click on that little intersection there you'll see the little orange box I have dimensions set on this, so my dimensions will demonstrate as I go. So there you go, I said between 2.2 and 2.5 is actually 2288. Two, if I was to choose the center lines, it's probably closer to 2.5. So I'll accept that for now. So I'll accept that my test is sufficient. And now I've set up my project, I've got my drawing, I've got my scale. And I'm ready to start populating this description column. And I'm ready to start measuring. Okay, thanks very much. In the next session, we will demonstrate some simple measurements. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.